Hello, welcome to the Hold On Fellowship Sunday School lesson from March 7, 2019, A Growing Awareness. It's coming out of 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 12. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for another day you've given us to grow in your word, grow and become better Christians, to not be uh, confused with the world and fall into the traps of the world. We ask that you just continue to bless us that we can be better, uh, understand, have better understanding of your word and know that you are the only way and that we have to uh, build a relationship with you, that, you, that we know your face and know your word from the world because... We know the traps are out there. We just thank you for everything you're doing in our lives. Thank you for the growth. Thank you for uh, keeping us one more day. All these things we ask in your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Man, the scripture uh, text today it comes out of Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first, and that a man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped. So that he is, he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth that might be revealed in, this, in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let um, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked one, wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him who cometh is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying and wonders, and with all deceivableness and unrighteous of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Amen. That was uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 12, once again. Um, this is a great lesson this morning. Um, a lot of times we, uh, in this world, we hear a lot of things, and we um, have an opportunity to fall by the wayside by being confused. Uh, that's one of the tricks of the devil to overload your mind with uh, different theologies and different thoughts from people that we that uh, may not be saved or may not be true children of God. They aren't, and they they confuse you and, and lead you down a road a road astray. And that's what's happening. Um, in this lesson this morning, we have to be very aware and be very discerning of who we get our word from. Let's let's go into the lesson. Air concerning the day of the Lord, Second Thessalonians two one and two. So uh, as we as we knew um, in First Thessalonians, Apostle Paul had a great hope in the church of Thessalonica. They were doing great things. They were moving in the Lord, uh, showing their faith, and uh, really growing. Um, they they uh, were experiencing persecution as expected. You know they were following following Jesus, so that comes with that. But they were were continuing on and growing and showing love towards each other and the fellow man and doing what the Lord wanted them to do. But um, apparently they had received some teaching that wasn't from Paul. It wasn't from any of the followers of the Lord. It was they received some. Uh, uh, a new uh, theology, and they were shaking their mind. They 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 were told that 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 they were living in the day of the Lord um, due to the persecution they were suffering and uh, what was going on at the time. This was the time that the Lord was coming, and and um, this was a confusion to them. They they because they've been hearing Apostle Paul say the time had not yet come. So what is this new new uh, 
theology that we're getting that it, that is here now. What, who should we believe? Apostle Paul had to come back and uh, reassure them that uh, no, the day of the Lord has not come. The signs and what's going, what's happening hasn't hasn't happened yet. It's uh, it's in 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 the present times we we uh have perilous times we have things that's happening that can't be explained and things that uh we, we feel like are rapturous things we we having this right now and we know time is winding up but the the end of times hasn't hasn't shown shown this um face yet hasn't come we um these things that are going to happen that is said in his word that haven't happened yet but we know it's it's coming it's closer now than ever but back then it wasn't it wasn't close yet but they were receiving doctrine that was confusing them so many christians these days receive word that uh, uh comes from man and not from the lord we have to remember that the, um, whoever brings the word needs to bring it um, primarily from the word of God and they have to refer back to that that's where we know that the word they're saying is coming from God if they're giving you all word from their own mouth and their own opinions about everything um, it's, uh, it's a good chance that's not a word of God it has to come back from the word that's what God sent his messengers to do so um, Come from my word and give them, and give them the word that I give you. He gives you word that that can be searched and that can be you can go back in the scripture and find, and 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 you know that that's God. He doesn't give man uh, opinions that they just speak off their mind. No, he gives you word from the, from the gospel, so you can go back and and search it in in the word. It's in there. Amen. Correction concerning the day of the Lord, Second Thessalonians two three to twelve, reminder of teaching. Apostle Paul, he had already spoken on these things to the church, Thessalonica. He'd already told them what would happen in the last days, but like we said, they've been shaken. They had received a a conflicting word, and they and now they were confused. He told them uh, it would be a large falling away before. Uh, Jesus came back um, and, and it would be the end of the times. A lot of things would happen. A falling away would mean a lot of people would would uh, fall to false doctrine and um, will will go in the way of the other one, the of Satan and his follower and the, the Antichrist who's, who is fighting against uh, Jesus in the seven years. That's who they would, they would follow due to um, their lack of relationship with the Lord, and they and and not knowing Him, they could they they can't decipher if this is really God who they are following or not. That's why it was it's so important to build a relationship with with the Lord right now. Because if you don't, in these times, you're gonna be confused and follow the one that is looking to destroy you. You won't know because you are. You uh, are trying to come to the Lord at the last possible second because you wasted your whole life living in the world, living for the world. Now you come to the Lord trying to be saved and you follow any doctrine to think you are getting saved and you are deceived. And that's what happens. That's why it will be millions of people that um, perish because they and go to hell because they never formed that relationship with the Lord and, and until he comes back and now it's too late. You you trying to scramble to follow him and you follow the Antichrist. He is uh, the Antichrist is one who exalts himself um, to the level of God. He says that he is God. He should, he he proclaims himself to be God and he sits in the temple of God. But he is not him. He is this deceiver. He is a controlled by the devil. Those who don't um, really know the Lord and, and don't have a relationship, they will be deceived. That's what that's that's the uh, end times. That's that's what will really draw a line in the sand of who is really following the Lord and who wasn't, because you because we know the Lord's face. 
We know, and and that's where uh, the blessing comes from, growing right now in the Lord. You need to start growing in the Lord so you will be able to be shown as his child when these times are are come. So you won't be deceived. We can't uh, let people that aren't of the Lord deceive us. Removal of restraint. 2 Thessalonians 2, 2 Thessalonians 2, 6 through 7. Now, um, the the one who was withholding the, the revelation of the Antichrist is God. And God removed that um, withholding so the Antichrist can, can do his true walk and, and, and show true lawlessness. Now, it's lawlessness all over. It's been lawlessness forever. Uh, that's people doing wrong and wrongdoing being accepted as right. But in these days, the Antichrist is not hiding. He's not looking to deceive you anymore. He is coming out fully and, and being in plain sight and showing the world he's the Antichrist and I'm here to, well, I'm, I'm God and I'm doing, doing true um, the, the work of, of what I've been doing all through these times and people. He's been working, the, Satan has been working through people all, all up until this time. But now he's out and playing. It's nobody, the Lord is not restraining him no more. Now he, can, he walks in plain sight now. He does his thing and, he, and he's going, going looking to destroy whatever he can now. And, and, and now it's, it's, it's a, a, a true line in the sand drum. Who are you following? You following him or you following the Lord, and 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 you have to, and and it's harder now because you, he has a uh, a doctrine that is a uh, saying he's God. He's doing he's 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 holding himself on the high perch. If you don't know the Lord, you will be deceived, cause he cause he's he's uh, proclaiming it. What did the uh, Jews expect the Lord to come to come back as uh, a a true champion uh, a, a a a warrior right so when someone comes that that looks the part and he and he is very uh, uh one of one of uh looks very much like a, a leader and someone that you should follow that you going do you you follow that lead and that's going to lead you to destruction but that's why we should already know our lord so he can he already talks to we talk to him daily and he has a relationship with us so we won't fall into it. But the Lord wants to, he wants to see who's going to go that way. He doesn't want to um, um, force you to come to him. No, that has to be your decision. So he, he um, removes the restraint. You choose. It's on you now. And, and it's always been that way. But now um, the devil has even, has the more, even more um, free reign. Revelation of the Antichrist, Second Thessalonians two eight through ten. As we said, the restraint is removed, but the the Lord is still more powerful. He's gonna be able to um, overthrow the Antichrist schemes with just His word. His word is that powerful. Uh, do you know that His word is more powerful than any anything that going on in our lives? If we use the word on it. It will uh, recede. That's how the devil works. If you put the word on anything that the devil is trying to to move, he will run. He will flee. That's what. That's how how powerful the Lord is and His word. That's why it's important we always refer to the word because it, it is our power. It is our, our sword against the devil because he can't he can't handle that word. He will he would um he will be destroyed just by the brightness of the coming of the Lord. The, the power of the Lord is that powerful. He 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 can uh, take over any 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 scheme that the devil has at any time. But he he allow, he's gonna allow this time because it's what it's what's written. And then he's gonna come back at at the end of these seven years and take over. But before that, the devil's gonna have produce signs and lying wonders. Don't we see people that are are heavy and trickery and and uh, magic and things that will make you uh, consider, wow, 
that's that's of God right there. That must be God. That's that's something amazing. And, and he's gonna have all kind of counterfeit miracles. That's what it's what the devil's gonna do. He's gonna confuse all of those that don't know the Lord for real. Because they, they're gonna have everything. Be great and oratorically, uh politically. People, many of us look at CNN faithfully. What one that comes on CNN and, and is eloquent? Wouldn't that be somebody that get that get that ear? Yes, it's gonna be old folks, young folks, all of them, because it's it's gonna be someone that tickles the ear of many people. Um, we we have many uh these uh, evangelists that are um, that are mega uh, leaders of mega churches. It can be one one of them that that is uh, led by the devil, that leads a lot of people astray. We've seen it before, that are self-run and not run by the Lord, and they um, have their own agendas. This is what the Antichrist will be, but he's going to be in a different form now where where he's showing, he's acting like he is God, and he's going to have people that um, never knew God fleeing to him and, and fleeing right over the ditch where he's trying to lead them. Delusion of unbelievers, Second Thessalonians two eleven and twelve. As we said before, um, it's going to be a strong uh, confusion going on, and it's all right because God is He wants this He wants these people to um, be confused and they and so they can believe that lie. He wants all those that are, that have been that do not know Him that have followed this false uh, messiah uh, to go down into into where they they wanted to go all along. See when we don't serve God, we serving the other. We serving the devil. We don't know we don't recognize this, but that's what we're doing. When we're not serving God and we're not doing the will of God, we serving the devil. All of our life we're doing that. So if you've done this all your life and then the end of times come and you have a uh, decision to make. God don't want you running to him like that because you didn't never serve him from the get-go. No, he wants you to serve the one you've been serving all along. And he's not going to have to convince you because you're going to fall into that trap anyway. So that's why it's important that we um, build our personal relationship with God right now so we don't um, have these traps. The Lord will build your awareness. He will build your discernment. He will build um, your connection with him. When you take two steps towards him, he'll take one. He'll take three towards you. He'll build it, but you have to build that personal connection. That personal connection with him, so you um, are his child already. Let's not wait till um, the end of times come to flee towards the Lord, because we will be too late. The Lord is not. He wants. He does not want um, counterfeit saints who run to him when the. The times get tough, and now I need you, Lord. No, he wants us to be with him from the beginning, right now, of our lives. And our lives don't start till we come to him. So we're not as babies, but we start as babes in Christ. So we can be as old as we are, but as long as we come to the Lord and, and repent for our sins and, and turn away from the devil and keep walking with him, he will be our Savior, and he is the one that um, we can follow. We don't have to worry about uh, him being the wrong one that we follow. No. His word is written. He is the true and only only true and living God. And he lives within us that believe in him. It's not going to be pretty for those that don't believe in the Lord. So let's uh, be mindful that we, if we're not with the Lord right now, let's get on, get on that train and let's do what we can to turn to the Lord because time is truly winding up. We see it every day that people are leaving this earth that is unexplained. Um, it's more, more and more just hate-filled um, death and, and uh, destruction of people. People leaving that are young um, have an opportunity to do major things in the world, but that's not what our purpose is. When we seek to do things in this world and be the biggest person in the world, that's not what Jesus wants. He wants you to be a true follower of him that can move mountains through him and, and, and uplift the kingdom. That should be our goal. And everything else he adds unto us. But, it, but first seek him. So let us uh, be mindful of this. God is good, and I hope you have a blessed uh, Sunday.
Amen.